Okay. So that's pretty much done. Although, you know, it's too much. Looks like it's gonna rain. Seems like the color changes at the joint. So I had to move this up a little bit to make it look like it was on his knee. You see the black and then the color changes at the joint. And you can leave some of these hairs because it is a pretty hairy, hairy spider. Eee! Creeps me out. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, Alright. So. So this is my first prototype. Which is taking me way too long. To get done. Let's see this. You know, I think it should be probably more humped. So I kind of was going like this to get that hump a little higher. Plus that's also pushing my, my legs in better. But to hold this, you know, my thumb keeps pushing on there, which ends up flattening it. So you gotta keep that in mind. Right. And I added black and brown. Because see, black is dead. But if you add black and brown, then there's more interesting things to look at. You can see the black and brown. And I put this gray in here. I guess it's his mouth. But he'll be on the board in the in the frame. You won't see under there, but at least it's finished if it ever came out of there, so. Alright. So I'm gonna go here next. And that's the other thing too, is uh See, I still have to finish that. Well, let me finish that one first. Oh, no, because I was going to cut this. I think it's too long, so I'm going to leave that part undone. And then I'm going to cut them, because I think they might be a little long, but I'd rather have more than not enough. Right? So that's... One, two, this is three, and there's one segment. See, this could use a little orange there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. If I'm really going to get technical, you can see in the picture, look at that. See, it goes to black, and then the yellow, and then there's a line, and then there's black. I mean, look at that.
See that pipe cleaner? Cleaner is very clingy. Maybe I can gradate it this way by pushing it towards the black. and neat but Now, if you have these securely in in your spider, then you can uh, move them around easy in order to needle felt them. And I guess after you get the hang of it, you'll know you know you could just take one pipe cleaner and do the whole thing and then stick it in your body. So I think it would be smart to map this out after it's done and tick off the measurements. leg So now I got this, this, and this. Well, here he is all finished, the tarantula. You can see him in the shadow box frame there. And there's a little glint. You can see one of his eyes. I think there's, what, uh, two plus four. There's six eyes in there. And uh, I think he turned out pretty good. He's very hairy in a brown and black mixture with some uh, ochre and sienna. Zoomed in, you can see the eyes in there. 
I'll move in a little closer. And uh, that really is a nice touch for uh, the tarantula. Tarantula! Ooh! Here I um, pulled one leg coming out of the frame just a little bit. And the whole thing is floating. And I used the needle and the glue to adhere it to the backboard. And um, that helps suspend it in its space. And that's the final pres presentation of the tarantula.